they're too chunky, they're too fat looking. They're like me in action figure form. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another hunt video. Uh, it's been, it's been like two weeks since I've been able to get out and do do a hunt at any Targets or Walmarts. We're going on vacation this Friday, so I'm just trying to be good, trying to save up for it, because I plan on doing a lot of hunting down there. Even though I was trying to be good, I couldn't take it anymore. I had to go out on a hunt. So today's agenda, uh, two Targets, two Walmarts. The first Target's gonna be in Mantua, New Jersey. The other Target and two Walmarts are in Deford. Recently picked up the Super 7 Reaction Ninja Turtle figures, so I'm on the hunt for Mikey. I need him. I need the Super 7 Red and Green Ranger. Mego just came out with the Son of Frankenstein and Wolfman. I like to find that. And of course, the new Star Wars Bad Batch, I like to find as well. Let's head over there, see what they got on the shelf. Let's get the hunt started. So we're in the regular toy aisle here. Looks like they have a pretty good restock of WWE. Then the Fallen Spawn. This is the red one. I don't think I've seen that one yet. A NECA in the aisle. The guy over there has a toy cart. So it's not even nine o'clock, so I don't even know if anything was put out. So I come over here in the DC, doesn't look like anything is new here. Oh, this is new, I haven't seen this one yet. This is a cool set. Yeah, it's a pretty cool looking set. Got an RC down there, a couple of them. Ooh, 539. You know, I'm gonna hang on to this. I think I know somebody that might want that. So let's put that in there for now. Here's some of the new Shang-Chi stuff. Alright, let's head over to the NECA and see what they got over there. Alright, coming up to the NECA and Funko stuff. I already see stuff up here. Leo, Raph, Donnie, there's a Mikey, yep. So, we have to go ahead and get him. Make sure he looks good here, the card's okay. What's that right there? Let's try this one. Paint looks good on Mikey. Yes, it does. All right. So that's one thing we're getting. We have a couple of the new reaction Universal Monsters. We had the Phantom of the Opera. This one looks really cool. I might go ahead and pick him up. We have the Wolfman. I have the very first releases of these when they were still with Funko. It's awesome. And we have the Mummy. Uh, I just want to look around see if they have anything else. Doesn't really look like it. They have Dr. Zayas Migo. That's all the Migos they have. So that seems to be all they have for the reactions. We didn't find the Power Rangers, but that's okay because we have a couple more stops. So we got some Mortal Kombat down there. We have, oh, the Jet Jaguar. I think this is kind of hard to find. I mean, Jet Jaguar is a pretty popular character, so it doesn't surprise me. But we have more Migo up here. We have the Rocketeer. No interest. But it's a cool one. It's a cool looking figure. Just not for me. But we do have the Son of Frankenstein. So we're going to go ahead and get him. We have another Son of Frankenstein and another Rocketeer. So just need the Wolfman now. Uh, we have more reaction. We have Chucky. I've actually never seen this one. I didn't even know he was coming out. Eh, I could pass on Chucky. We're off to a good start so far. Uh, we went ahead and picked up the Mikey. So we completed that. Went ahead and picked up the Son of Frankenstein. Still on the hunt for a couple of their Migos but I'm sure we'll find them. They're not hard to find, which is a good thing. I went ahead and picked up the Bumblebee Super 7. I didn't get a chance to reach out to my friend, but it's only $5, so I'm not really too worried about it. We're gonna head to our first Walmart. All right, guys, we're down the toy area in our first Walmart, and it looks like we have a Shang-Chi Shang figure. Very cool. Oh, yeah, there's some G.I. Joe. Excuse me, guys. Technical difficulties here. We still have some of the Ghostbusters figures there. Still have these guys hanging around. Got the 
Zoro, got some of the Witcher, the blue spawn, we just saw the red spawn at the target. Uh, I'm on the hunt for the red boxed uh, Cheetor, haven't been able to find them. I know a lot of you are finding them out there. Got the Grimlock, I really gotta get on him, gotta stop slacking before he's to the point where I can't find him anymore. Same for that, only nothing there. All right, so let's go ahead and see what they have, if anything, for wrestling. And I mean, at least they have a restock of, you know, WWE figures. It's actually, oh, okay, it goes all the way up there, too. Right. I'm not even gonna bother because I'm not looking for any WWE figures at the moment. Some of the Jar Jar down there, what's this? Oh, Jar Jar, never mind. No Black Series. Uh, I mean, Grief Car got Jar Jar, that's about it. I didn't think they were still stocking these, but these are great figures if you guys haven't gotten them yet. My wife recently just opened all of hers, and I'm telling you, for 10 bucks, they're legit. Definitely give them a try. Now, guys, all right, hear me out. I don't like these at all. Uh, I, I, have, I have some of the originals from when I was a kid. They're just really chunky. I don't know. Like, if you look at the originals, they don't look like this, but... For ten dollars, I guess you really can't go wrong. So they have everybody here except for the Pink Ranger. I'm sure she's back here. No, I guess okay, she's not here. So let's head over to the NECA stuff and see what they have there. We're in the NECA and Funko section, and there's not really much here. So that's okay. It doesn't really surprise me. This Walmart usually is kind of kind of lackluster in that area. I know these are starting to show up on clearance. I wonder if this one is as well. Got a Grim Gremlins calendar. And that seems to be about it. I do want to check one thing. Because I know the new Mortal Kombat 1-Up came out. So I'm seeing if... Alright, good. It's not here. Because I would have been leaving with that for sure. But Alright, guys. So this Walmart is a bust. We're going to head to our second Target and see what they have. All right, coming up to the toy aisle in our third target, and oh yeah, oh yeah. Been looking for these guys, we're gonna get him. They got the Shore Trooper, and the Hover Tank Driver, and one more Hover Tank Driver. So we need all three of these guys, so we're gonna go ahead and definitely pick these guys up. All right, so coming up in the NECA stuff, and it seems to be a fairly decent restock, but nothing, nothing too great. Uh, we're already finding something we need, and that's the new Mego Stan Lee figure. This is the second one that came out with the web hands. All right, definitely picking him up. We need that. Here's another random one we we'll just put up there. Actually, you know what? Let's fix this guy, too. Plenty to go around if you guys haven't gotten this figure yet. Uh, here's more of the Bumblebee. I don't know if these ones are on clearance, though. Got an Annabelle up there. Uh, what we got down here? Nothing. Pulled off the rhino alien. Nothing back there. Nothing down here? Alright. So that's cool. So we have... Let me check him real quick. Yep. Alright, that'll do. So let's see that stuff right there and see if there's anything over in the pops. Not much of a collector, like you guys know, but... I like to show it off in case anyone's interested. So, I'll put that one clear. Oh, the new concept. Ralph McCoy, Darth Vader. This is awesome. I like that. Who else is in this series? I don't even think I've seen anyone else. For not being a pop collector, this is actually kind of tempting just because I love the old Ralph McCoy designs. This is not a bad looking pop. Eh, probably still pass on him. Uh, anything over here? Uh, same cap of game stuff. We're actually gonna head over to the Marvel Legends and Batman stuff. So let's go over there and see if they have anything.
I came back down to Star Wars Island just to see if there's anything I missed, and I clearly missed the new Space Jam figures. We have the Bugs Bunny with the acne blaster right here, the LeBron James, and then we have another LeBron James up here. So it's cool, these are starting to show up. I'm also noticing they finally got this in, the Dennis Nandry in the getaway pack. Look at that. That is awesome, $24.99. I know my wife's probably gonna want to pick that one up. A Tyrandon is legit looking like that from Jurassic Park 3. So Target seems to be where it's at today. Left with a nice bag of stuff there. We're gonna head to our last Walmart and see if they have anything. I'm coming down the toy aisle here and I already, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I have any hope, guys. We're already showing a lot of empty pegs. This one's also well stocked on some WWE. There's Chase Shinsuke. Seen him a couple times already. Oh, look at what we have here. And I just said I was looking for him. We are gonna go ahead and pick him up because like I said, we've been needing him. So is that supposed to be turned like that? Hope it's not like a defect. I'll check when I get home. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and pick him up. And a couple alien queens. Nothing else down here. All right. So let's head over to NECA and Funko and see if they have anything over there. We're in the NECA and Funko stuff and <laughs> um, yeah, I'm pretty sure there's nothing that we need here. So, a couple Migos of Star Trek. Pig pins. They actually, I feel like they moved all this. It wasn't here last time. I think this is a, a new setup they're doing. The same old pop they had before and nothing else. All right guys, so I decided to make one more trip. So we're out here at the Walmart in Somerdale, New Jersey. It wasn't very far from where we were. So like I said, I wanted to make one more trip, see if we can find anything else. So let's go over and see what they got. So here we are on the toy aisle and <laughs> just like our other one, not really seeing very much. So a little bit of the same, what is it? Hey, wait a minute, what's this? I'm not gonna get this, but this is, oh wait, it's a whole set. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, guys, this is actually kind of cool. I love the presentation of this. Hmm. That is, that's pretty cool. Some Batman death metal up there. I uh, got a random Toonie Terror, Pennywise. Jar Jar by himself down there. We have more of the same with the Masters of the Universe. And again, it must be Walmart's WWE restock day because there's a pretty good selection here. Again, nothing that we need. It's more of the same that we've already seen, but it's cool. Another Chase Shinsuke, more of that Bray Wyatt basic. I really am tempted on this. I like this guy. I just picked up the Ultimate not too long ago, but this is still a nice looking figure. This is bothering me that's not in the right spot. Sorry. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and check the NECA and the Funko and see if they have anything over there. Nothing seems to be new over here. So let's see if there's anything different here and it already doesn't look like it. That's all right. We found some good stuff already, so it's not, it's not a big deal. It's cool to see Jason showing back up. Pennywise belongs with his people. Uh, the Biff animated figure. All right. I know they have a section over here sometimes. They do, but nothing here. So it looks like Target is gonna be winning today's hunt. Walmart's been pretty much a bust except for the Cheetor that we found. So we're gonna finish up now. Let's go ahead and go home and take a look at everything that we picked up. All right guys, so we're back from our hunt. Let's take a look at everything that we picked up. So our first stop was at a Target in Mantua, New Jersey. And we picked up a couple of things there. From that Target on clearance, the Super 7 Gold Armored Bumblebee. Just a little bit of damage right there, a little bit of damage right here. It's five bucks, so it wasn't really that big of a deal. Next, we went ahead and picked up the Super 7 Michelangelo. I'm actually going to be doing a toy haul video just going over stuff that you guys haven't seen 
in a toy hunt or stuff that I've got, you know, obviously when I wasn't filming. The other three are gonna be in there. And uh, so now I have him, it's nice to actually complete that set. Last but not least from that target, one of the Migos we were looking for, and that's the Son of Frankenstein figure. So we're still looking for, sorry about that glare, still looking for the Wolfman and a couple others, but happy to have this particular one. Our next stop was a Walmart complete bust. After that, we hit up our second target. We scored pretty good there, starting off with the Mego Stan Lee. This is the second version of Stan Lee. There's a version before this, and then there's this version. This version, he has the web hands, Spider-Man web hands. Next, we found three of the Black Series Archive figures. Starting off, we have the Shore Trooper. Really happy to have this figure. I'm probably gonna want a couple more just so I can army build. We have the Imperial Hover Tank Driver. It's a pretty cool figure right there. Again, sorry about the glare. We have one of the Death Troopers. After the second target, third stop second target, we hit a Walmart and we didn't really find anything there except for the Transformers Red Cheetor. This is one of the ones I was looking for. Glad to finally have it. And then that was actually the end of our hunt. I only planned on going to four stores, but we ended up hitting five stores because I went to another Walmart, but there was nothing there as you can tell from the footage. That's gonna do it for everything that we picked up. Now, I wanna get into a really special unboxing if I could. Um, I was gonna do this separately in a haul video, like a haul unboxing type of video, but I decided just to include it in here. We have a package here from the one, the only, Mr. Man Cave Collectibles. This butterfly envelope, he handpicked personally because he said he loves butterflies. He wanted you guys to know he loves butterflies and he loves the color pink. I'm just kidding. They, this was the only thing they had available when he went to ship this. So let's go ahead and rip this bad boy open. So this is actually a build a figure piece. So here it is guys, here's the piece, it is actually the right arm and wing for the Sauron Build-A-Figure. Man Cave, thank you so much for sending me this, I really, really appreciate it. So that's going to do it for the video guys, thank you so much for watching, leave some comments, leave some likes, share the video, be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell so that way you don't miss an upload, and until next time guys, like always, thank you for watching, I'll see you next time. So this is what I was meaning in Walmart about these flip heads not looking as chunky as they do now. But like I said, it's just my own opinion. If you guys like them, awesome. I'm not going to take that away from you.